quick video here on a Goulds uh, J05 jet pump rebuild. Um, basically, you just unbolt the pump from the housing, four bolts. And I think the reason this pump, four bolts right here, this pump stopped working is all the crud that was in here. So in a rebuild kit, you'll get a new seal like this right here. See all the stuff that was inside of here. Clean it all out real good. Then you need to take your bolts off here. I already got everything loose. So I can show you quick how it comes off. There's the cover to the impeller. And then this is held on here. It's threaded. So I got, I don't know if that's the best way to do that, but I got a screwdriver locked in there to keep the motor from spinning. And then this basically just unthreads off of here. And then there's a seal, spring-loaded, spring-loaded seal inside here. Here's the new one going to clean that up good first before we put this back in there. Make sure it goes in like that. And then you're going to thread on your new impeller. Thread that on there. Put the cover back on it. And make sure on these there's a this side's up right there. So that goes facing up towards the top, just like this. And then you'll put that all back together after it's all cleaned up. And I'll let you know. Hopefully it uh, gets the pump working again. And we don't have to use the junk Harbor Freight pump anymore. Oh, another little trick that I did on these. Um, this type of pump usually comes on an upright tank. Well, the upright tanks are kind of hard to get. So... I went with one of these um, A.O. Smith tanks that you can get right at Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, but there's a fitting that goes from the pump to, used to go to the old tank. Well, it's fine thread, so it's not an NPT. And to be able to get something to thread into it, I had to sweat uh, copper fitting into this piece of brass. Basically use just a three quarter inch um, copper uh, bushing. I think I had to sand it a little bit and then it fit right up in there. Um, not the best at sweating as you can see, but it, it held water because I already had this pump in, but it was only making um, about 15 to 20 PSI and it should have went up to about 50. Um, I think it's mainly because of all this crud that was inside of it, but while it's open, we're going to rebuild it. So hope this video helps you out a little bit. These Goulds are definitely the way to go. Um, any of these Chinese pumps, Home Depot pumps, they're all junk. These things are the best. This pump's lasted uh, almost 30 years. And after this rebuild, I'll probably get another 30 years out of it. Thanks. Hit like and subscribe if you like my videos. Appreciate it.